Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going over my top 5 Beatle albums. Now this list is going to be slightly controversial for Beatles fans because I don't have a couple of the albums in my top 5 that a lot of people probably would put in their top 5 for Beatles albums. And it's not that I don't like the albums, because I enjoy pretty much every single Beatles album. There's some songs I don't like, like for instance on Abbey Road, I don't like that, um the long song that one was not great i think uh she's so heavy it's called i forget the name but um that one i really disliked and so there's a few songs i don't like but as an album is concerned there's not really an album that i really dislike but these are my top five favorites so coming in at number five we have a hard day's night now out of these um, early beatles albums you know the first few uh this is definitely my favorite one First of all, the cover is great, and this is the 2009 remaster, but starting off with A Hard Day's Night is a great song. Going Until I Should Have Known Better, I, If I Fell, great songs. Tell Me Why is great, Can't Buy Me Love is obviously a classic, I'll Cry Instead. You Can't Do That is an underrated song in my opinion, I really, really enjoy that song, and then I'll be back. From start to finish, this is just an amazing, amazing album. And like I said, this is the 2009 version. So, definitely the best way to hear it, at least in my opinion. Next up, also the 2009 version, we have Revolver. Now, I don't have the uh, Revolver box set, and I'm thinking about getting um, the CD version. Um, I don't remember what's included. I think it was like a five-disc set or something like that. I forget. But I wanted to get the new version for sure, because this is my in my top five, obviously. For Beatles albums, was definitely one of my favorites. You know, Taxman is a great song. Eleanor Rigby is great. Of course, the Yellow Submarine is on here. Here, There, and Everywhere. Good Day Sunshine is an underrated song. Dr. Robert is pretty good. Not a huge fan of Tomorrow Never Knows. I know that's probably controversial because I know a lot of people love Tomorrow Never Knows, but it's not my favorite song on the album. I think Taxman and Eleanor Rigby are definitely my two favorite songs on here. Here, There, and Everywhere is also pretty good another solid album nothing i really dislike but tomorrow never knows i definitely believe is an overrated song next up we have let it be which i also have uh, the get back sessions on blu-ray 2 which was pretty cool this is the newer uh, two disc remaster from 2021 i also have the 2009 one that i bought a few years ago but i did end up picking this one which is cool because i love having the different outtake highlights which is basically audio clips that were and the actual a DVD. <laughs> Two of Us is great. Dig a Pony, I really enjoy. I Cross, I mean, Across the Universe is also really great. I mean, mine is all right. Dig It is, is whatever. Let It Be is a great song. I've Got a Feeling, One After 909, feels like a classic song. The Long and Winding Road. Four Year Blue is definitely one of my favorites for sure. And Get Back, obviously, Get Back is just phenomenal. And then at number two, we have the two disc anniversary 2019 edition for Abbey Road. First of all, obviously, their best cover, in my opinion. It's just a great cover. Um, Come Together is a great song, although I will say I heard a performance of Come Together by Michael Jackson, and I feel like it fits Michael Jackson more as a song. Uh, Aerosmith also did a great version. Obviously, this version I think is better than Aerosmith, but I do think. Um, that live version I heard from Michael Jackson is better for Come Together. Now, I don't know if we have, I don't think he ever had a studio version. I could be mistaken. I never heard his studio version, but I did see a video clip of him doing the song. I mean, it's, it's, their version is great. Obviously, they're the originals, but I just think that kind of song really just fit Michael Jackson. I just, it seemed almost like it was made for him. <laughs> Obviously, Something is a great song. Maxwell Silver Hammer is alright. Oh Darling is a is probably my favorite song on the album, honestly. Here Comes the Sun. Oh yeah, I Want You, She's So Heavy. That's a song I actually hate. I, <laughs> I really dislike that song. But Here Comes the Sun is great. Because is pretty good. You Never Give Me Your Money is okay. Sun King is just whatever. Mean Master Mustard is alright. She Came Through the Bathroom Window is alright. Golden Slumbers. Carry That Weight. Overall, it's a solid album. I would really only just skip um, She's So Heavy because 
it's just annoying. It's it's really just a long, annoying song. If that song wasn't on the album, I'd probably put that in, put the album at number one. But because I have to skip that, it just kind of takes away from it, in my opinion. And then, definitely a very, very controversial opinion. My number one favorite Beatles album is not Sgt. Pepper. It's Rubber Soul. Again, I enjoy Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band for what it is, but it's not in my top five. I think it'd be number seven because I put Magical Mystery Tour above it. I put Magical Mystery Tour number six because there's great songs on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, but as an out actual album from start to finish goes, there's a lot on it that I just don't care that much about. It just does not interest me that much. There's, like I said, some great songs on there that I absolutely love. But there's also some things on there that I'm just not a huge fan of. But Rubber Soul is the complete opposite. Everything on Rubber Soul I enjoy. I could hear it over and over and over and absolutely still love the album. I do need to get a newer version because this is one of the original, like, 1989, I believe it came out. 1988, 89, when they first put their albums over on CD. But Drive My Car is a great song. Norwegian Wood is great. Going all the way to Nowhere Man. Nowhere Man is just an awesome song. The Word, Michelle, What Goes On, Girl, I'm Looking Through You, In My Life, which is a great song. If I Needed Someone, Run For Your Life. I mean, from just start to finish, there is not a bad song on here. There's nothing that's annoying in any way, like, uh, uh, is she so heavy? There's nothing I find pointless like there is on Sgt. Pepper's where there's a few things I just dislike on it. Just going into that a little bit. I mean the opener is decent. With a little help from my friends I enjoy. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds I enjoy. Getting better is alright and fixing holes alright. But like being for the benefit of Mr. Kite I, I don't care about. <laughs> within within you without you is just whatever. When I'm 64 is pretty good. Lovely Rito is pretty good. Good Morning is alright. And Day in the Life is obviously a phenomenal song. Love Day in the Life. But, as like I said, just starting from start to finish, it is not my favorite to listen to from start to finish. I like some of the songs on it. I like them a lot. Like I said, some of them are some of my favorites. But, as a consistent album goes, it's definitely not up there. For so is pretty much a perfect album in my opinion. There's not many albums I would say is a perfect album. There's usually something on an album that I'm not a huge fan of. So... This is one of the few albums I would list as a perfect album in my collection. Well, that is my top five Beatle albums. I know it's not a perfect top five in a lot of people's opinions, and I'm sure not a lot of people would agree with them. Like I said, it's not that I dislike any of the other Beatles albums, but these are the top five that if I was going to grab a Beatles album, I would grab these five first. And I think they are the best albums that the Beatles did make. I will go over my solo Beatles stuff in the future too, ranking those my top five for like Paul and john and stuff but i'll do that in future uploads if you do want to see every beatles and solo beatles album, album in my collection you can actually see my beatles and solo beatles collection video which i have on my channel from a couple of months ago but anyway if you did like this video leave like comment and subscribe for more videos like this